Uh, good afternoon. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for the invitation. Uh, my name is Thomas Lee, and I'm uh, proudly born and bred in Tokoro, and I'm actually uh, a, sorry, a, a sitting councillor. I've been married to uh, my wife Kay for 36 years, and we have two sons, Matt and Karen, and two beautiful grandchildren, Bella and uh, Christian. I'm standing for council these elections because I will always have the uh, ratepayers' interests at heart and ensure our community is prosperous, healthy, happy and safe. I believe anyone who wants to have a say should be able to have a say. I'm a very good listener and have empathy for people and their views, even if they differ from mine. I'm socially minded and have the passion, commitment, life experience and local knowledge to serve the community and the South Waikato District. I would love to see the South Waikato District prosper again. We can achieve this by encouraging businesses into our district which will create work opportunities for our young people. We need to be a safe, welcoming district to encourage visitors to call in, even if it's just for the toilets, food, drink, and other retail experiences. The CBD upgrade is a cog in this wheel, and we need to get on with that. Council needs to plan and operate prudently with ratepayers' money. And the ratepayer needs to see that all the services we provide to the district are indeed value for money. The community has the chance to submit at annual and long-term plan stages. If they disagree or agree with councils, they have that opportunity. The only community housing um, I'm aware of is the pensioner housing. We have 90 units and we're in the process of uh, building five more at the moment with another four or five to come depending on the funding. I'm part of that um, committee as well and uh, hopefully we'll be able to move those along, but a lot of it depends on the price of the land. Our only community housing that um, we have is that pensioner housing. And we need to actually, because of our ageing population, we need those units because not everybody's going to want to have a big house. If re-elected, I will ensure that the ratepayers' concerns are answered, that we as council listen to what the community is saying while we deliberate that we are always conscious of the decisions we make and the impact that we have. And finally, the council operates smoothly, efficiently, and we as a council are more mindful of rate, rate, rate increases. Thank you.